Hi guys, uh, Thursday afternoon, May 14th, uh, doing a follow-up video about Ringdoll Frankenstein. Um, so, he's up here with my twiggling gamine, who was originally with Kylo Ren. Um, but I, I like their resin colors together a lot, so um, I'm kind of thinking that I may leave them together. Um, I have the Twiggling Oryx, which is a tan Twiggling Oryx on the way. Uh, well, I don't know, whenever it gets through. Um, that I'll probably wind up putting with Kylo instead. So I just think that their resin colors really look lovely together. Um, so I think that, that that matches really nicely. So I think I'm gonna leave them together. But anyway, um, I kind of wanted to do an update. He was like a four or five day project. Um, and, uh, I didn't bring his extra pieces in here with me, but as I mentioned in my box opening video, he had, um, a piece on his, well, two pieces on his oxygen bomb that was broken. Um, the, there was actually two pegs that go into his back that hold it on. Well, I knew that was broken. I knew he was missing his chest piece, but I got further in and I realized that there was quite a bit more broken to him than I expected. And um, there were there was like a little trim piece on the oxygen bomb that was broken. Um, and I was able to kind of paint some of that and do a little work on it. Um, he's missing his metal collar. He's missing the fur piece, uh, but I ordered a vintage fur. Um, like doll fur, um, and it needs some work, but I think it'll look pretty cool because it's black. Um, found it on eBay just for a few dollars, so I ordered it. Um, so let's, let me see what else was, was broken on him that I did not realize. Um, so he had, I knew he had an inside piece that was broken when I did the do, uh, box opening, but it wasn't disclosed to me. Um, so he had one piece that was broken on the leg, but then through all this wiring, there's quite a bit more that was chipped and stuff. So um, I tried to paint it as best as possible. Um, what else? I think his arm is fine. Yeah, but there was quite a quite a bit of chips on the resin that I didn't expect, and. Um, you know, maybe that was my fault for not asking, but because I was so excited to get him. Um, really bummed about the metal collar piece, um, but I don't know if there's something I can do later. We'll see. Um, he had a lot of fingerprints, and I don't know, it was white fingerprints. Um, I didn't show you guys on his back, on his arms. Um, one on his face, um, splotches, and it looked like it was either paint or it came from the eye putty that was used. I'm not sure, um, but I used a magic eraser and a whole lot of elbow grease, and I got a lot of that off. I did that um, over one day. I think it took me an entire day to get him cleaned up, and I took him apart, did more cleaning, um, but one thing I did was I rubbed his um, eyebrow when I did that, trying to get the one off um, on around his eye. He had quite a few scratches to his MSC on his face up. Um, I don't, right now especially, want to send it off. I would be devastated. I mean, there's no replacing the head, really. Um, so I don't know about sending it off at any point until it just gets beyond repair. I don't know what else to do. Um, and I'm horrible at face-ups, like, <laughs> so I can do body blushing just fine, but face-ups are, are not my jam. Um, but anyway, so I took them apart. That took a day, uh, to clean them all up and get everything done. And then, I, of course, over the process of, like, three days, I did, um, sealing, more painting of more gore for him, um, then another day I did more painting on his mechanical parts with um, like enamel and um, 
then more sealing and then and glossing around the the blood that's you know fresher blood um more painting i glued a little piece on to what was missing on this leg so let me show you um i guess what i did to the face to make it to where the eyebrow wasn't so obvious is i gave them um a scar in this one right here and of course there was a piece that was scratched off over here that i hadn't hadn't done with the um, magic eraser but so i gave him some blood splotches i gave him some blood splotches over here so i gave him this one I gave him some really pretty lavender sprouty doll eyes. I love it. Um, then, so I've got his wig kind of situated down. I like this too. I gave him some blood like up under his head cap. Like his, his head cap is bloody. I gave him some blood around his neck where his head is put on, you know. Um, so... Is holding back on, I undid it. Um, so I've tried the blood, you know, streaks where it's not gonna hopefully scratch off. I put some um, gloss over top to make it look more like flesh, flesh, look, fresh blood. Uh, more blood around here. I gave him a brad here because there was just a hole, and it looked like nothing was holding that on. I was like, what? So a little brad right there. Fresh blood, more fresh blood here, here, um, some on his arm here. So my idea is that this is a sensitive, he's a sensitive soul. And he gets embarrassed when he starts leaking. So um, then, hiya. then around his hip here. He's leaking pretty, he's leaking pretty bad on this one because it's still open, like, you know, Dr. Frankenstein was mean. And then I put, um, some glaze, uh, not glaze, you know, um, gloss, bleh. So it's, um, it looks like it's leaking fresh blood there. But Dr. Frankenstein was just mean. He, like, didn't close up these places and he's just leaking blood and it's so embarrassing. Um, and then I did a little bit of extra paint on these mechanical parts, more gloss, more blood leaking. I gave him a nipple because it wasn't, it wasn't painted. Gave him some extra blood from here and then this one and then on his fingers like he's trying to, you know, mop it up and it just keeps getting on his fingers and then there's gloss on them too. Bless his heart. He's so embarrassed when he when he starts leaking blood. Um, so let's see if I can. And then his back, he's got more here as well. It was really bright, brighter pink, almost like um, that they did it. So I'm I of course came back in with the darker blood, like more dried. And a little bit of gloss in here to you know make it seem a little fresher um then on his arm i did a whole lot of um painting with metallics like coppers and silvers and just on different various pieces on his arm so um so i gotta figure out the heart i was kind of thinking about maybe a filigree piece with a maybe a gemstone I've got like some flat gemstone beads maybe I could do something um, and then of course I've uh, also painted these brads they weren't painted originally and then I also took on all of the staples um, like a silver colored pencil and went through and, and marked every one of the staples so it's a little bit brighter looking they had them on on just this arm I think originally and they didn't do them to all of them, or it's rubbed off. I'm not sure. Um, then I also did his genitalia and did some hair there for him because it didn't have any kind of um, blushing there. Um, so I don't know if you guys heard me talking on, on this about how badly it stains. So I, I put it in, in a um, lingerie bag and, and washed it. 
Um, hopefully it won't stain because I took forever to clean up. Um, and then he's got further blood and gloss uh, through this uh, muscle piece. Again, Dr. Frankenstein, why do you do that? And he's got some more blood up here. Um, blood on his knee. This was some of their original blood, but I added a little bit more here on the calf. I had a little bit of MSC issue in some places. So, um, so on his leg, I did a whole lot more. His leg and his foot, I did a whole lot more um, paint, uh, copper in through here and here in these pieces, and then on the back side um, on that. And then I glued this brad head on the top. Um, to cover what was broken off. That was the worst broken piece. Um, but there's a whole lot of um, broken spots like in through here, uh, little chipped pieces. So I tried to paint what I could so it wasn't as obvious. Um, you can see some of them. But it's not as obvious now. Um, another thing is one of the knees on the inside um, has its um, post broken completely off. So right now it's not affecting any of the movement. And it might not have been something that they even could have noticed unless you take it apart, but I can't remember which one it is. I don't know which one it is, but it may not have been something that you would have noticed if you were not to take them apart and suede them. Um, so when I had him apart and I was doing all that, I also suaded the inside of his hips um, and the inside of his neck, and it's a whole lot better now. He can hold it without, you know, popping loose. So, um, so right now he's got his Frankenstein outfit on. Um, and the wig was... I kept looking and I kept looking and I could not find what I wanted. Um, I knew I wanted a white uh, or a pale gray wig. And I found this one on Amazon. Um, I have ordered from them before. It's um, Muzi, M-U-Z-I wigs. Um, and I, I liked them before. So um, I found this, it was an SD wig. It was supposed to be white blonde and I'm so thankful it was not. It is white and it has pale gray streaks through it so excellent the, uh, the only thing that i could have imagined that would have been better is gray with white streaks that you know for lightning um but i, I like that a lot so um his eyes look great um yeah and the light it looks amazing so anyway so far, um, this is him, uh, not done with his outfit completely, at least his Frankenstein outfit. I may give him like a collar of some sort, I don't know, um, but I don't want to really cover up his blood drip, so, um, let's see. He's going to also have his like regular outfit. Um, I, I'm not planning on, uh taking off his leg normally that the normal human legs are going to be um, human arm and leg will be put in his box so um, he has a pair of jeans and I'm not sure how to deal with the the big leg um, I may split it up the side or I don't know something to make it look like it you know Frankenstein I don't know but he's got the Ramones t-shirt I'm planning on trying to do it where his heart like leaks through it and maybe his little hip wound and his his other rib wound like when he's wearing it it starts to leak through it um and he's embarrassed and um i had this one that i planned for this twiggling girl actually and uh i may use this for him i'm not sure um i had this on him for a little bit this is uh, alice's collection little gray tattered um if i use it for him then i'll probably do a little bit more like some blood on it and stuff like that um bless his heart he's so sensitive and he just starts leaking and it's horrible and it's you know feels like it's gonna ruin the date but um so like i said this is a muzi wig muzi um so far i've been really impressed um this is the third wig i've ordered from them this is another one of them 
um, that's on her. Um, so I don't like this. It's a little bit poofier down here at the bottom. I may cut it, but um, it goes really well with her coloring. So I've got like her body blushing um, highlights are like purple and hot pink and stuff like that. So um, it it's really it's another really pretty wig, but I may cut it off like kind of before most of this curl because this is kind of poofy. I don't know. It may settle out a little bit, but it's a pretty really pretty wig. Um, they have a uh, had a few different colors. It was like this, but it's got um, two braids in the front and then three braids that meet in the middle and the back. So, and they were like, I don't know, 15 or $16 a piece. Um, you know, I was looking at some, some a leaky wig uh, for him that was like 30 bucks for the, the whole wig. So, I mean, they're good quality wigs. Um, right on par with the long sole wig that I have on my Beast Bays over there. Um, for Amazon wigs, I have ordered these three and um, I guess I put the other one up that was on her. It was a, the pink one that I had on her, but um, another really pretty wig. Uh, I have ordered Miss You Hair um, wig before and that was horrible quality wig. Um, it was a black wig that was supposed to be a 910 and I was very excited about being a 910 size. And it was not. It was more like a 7-8 size. And I accidentally got it near a Dolphy Dream. And it, um, it stained her. So, um, now I'm not saying that how color fast this one is. I don't know. I don't know. But that Miss You wig uh, was black. And um, it stained the crap out of my Dolphy Dream. And it shed like crazy. And I've gone back to that review, and a whole lot of people have had those same problems with that brand. So, um, I recommend staying away from Miss You Wigs. Muzi, M-U-Z-I, um, so far, um, I've really, really liked the quality of them. So, that's the one that's on her. So, anyway. Um, so, that's my dolly updates for right now. I don't know if she's going to sit on an unstable bed. Whoa. All right. Um... But anyway, that's the dolly updates for right now. Um, may probably be working on well, a reborn at some point coming up soon. That's probably my next next thing after I finish like his clothing and stuff. Um, but I'm very happy with him. Like I said, despite the things that weren't disclosed in the sales, um, you know, at this point, like eight years out from from their release uh unless you've had somebody that's it's a one owner um that really just displays them and that's it takes really good care i don't know that you're gonna find a resale of one that's not missing some sort of pieces so i'm still hunting for the ring doll zombie soul that's my grail guy so um has been from the beginning their gray is gorgeous like just mm, so pretty um but Rimdoll zombie soul has been my dude and i've been watching and watching not been able to find one so anyway um uh oh uh one other update uh, it's negative on my covid test woohoo <laughs> so um other than that we'll talk to you guys later stay safe love your families uh we'll talk to you soon okay bye